BMW didn't make the 7th generation 5 series any larger than the model it replaces. It's also up to, depending on trim, 137 pounds lighter than the 6th generation car, thanks to the use of magnesium and aluminum in the structure. From the driver's seat, the 2017 5 Series follows BMW's tradition of restraint. Simple round dials sit front and center. The inner quarter of those dials is part of an LCD cluster that mostly mimics the look of traditional gauges. Everything is canted slightly toward the driver, from the 10.25-inch screen atop the center stack to the buttons and dials that make up the climate and audio control interface. One be merit, all those buttons and dials are tiny and difficult to distinguish with a quick glance. Of course, the latest version of iDrive means anything you can do with a physical button can also be done using the car's electronic interface. For $52,195, the 2017 BMW 530i is powered by a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder that puts out 248 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. An 8-speed automatic is geared to make the most out of those ponies, getting the engine into the meat of its power quickly from a dead stop. The run to 60 takes 6 seconds flat, which is quick enough. Passing power, on the other hand, can sometimes lag as the turbos spool up. Those wanting more grunt can step up to the 540i and its 3.0-liter turbocharged inline 6 for $57,445. That engine's 335 horsepower and 332 pounds to foot push the 5 Series to 60 in 4.9 seconds and its additional displacement over the 530i makes it feel more responsive at highway speeds. The 2017 BMW 5 Series also gets semi-autonomous drive modes. Active cruise control is stop and go. Yes, that's actually what BMW calls it. Does exactly what it sounds like, and it works from 0 to 130 miles per hour, thanks, Autobahn. Here's hoping BMW can perfect its self-driving tech by 2021, which is when the German automaker plans to launch its first fully autonomous vehicle. But we also hope that all this gadgetry doesn't spoil the actual driving experience of mainstream models like the 5 Series. Because the ultimate self-driving machine just doesn't have the same ring to it, and, at least for now, the 5 Series still lives up to the brand's original tagline.